All righty. So today I'm with Teresa Duncan. She is a friend of mine off of Facebook. And I invited her here because I do believe that we're actually listening to the wrong people. We're getting our information from the wrong people. So what's important about Teresa is she's seen one of my posts, started following me, started communicating with me and sharing information back and forth, which is what I'm encouraging everybody to do. And in these times now, it's really important that we can share this information and get the ball rolling and getting us on the right track. So um, I really appreciate your uh, uh, interaction with me on Facebook, kind of keeps me going. Um, and so what I'd like to ask you is, because I don't have a, 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 a huge background on you, um, how did you become pro-establishment? Because I do detect that you are like me. Probably just like everybody else does. Uh, we grow up being good little patriots um, and good little citizens. They teach us to be good citizens in school and they teach us how the government is supposed to work. It doesn't work that way. Um, mm. But, you know, we grow up with hot dogs, baseball, apple pie and Chevrolet and everything's hunky dory and everybody celebrates 4th of July and it's all great. And, and you think life is good. And, and then, you know, one day you, uh, your eyes get opened mm -hmm. and you get red pilled and you okay. realize that, uh, the establishment isn't what it should be. So Teresa, what was the one incident that really, uh, uh gave you that real red pill moment, uh, for anti-establishment? Actually, it wasn't the 9-11 terrorist attacks. It was about five, four years later, and I was watching YouTube videos about 9-11, and I stumbled across this one called Loose Change. And I watched it and went, this is not what it was supposed to be. This was supposed to be a tribute to 9-11 because I was upset. Having watched that movie twice, all the way through, there were several things that really stuck out to me. Probably the biggest one is the, the Salomon Brothers building, which was World Trade Center 7, was never hit by a plane. Um, most people didn't realize, don't realize that a third building fell on 9-11. But the Salomon Brothers building fell and it was announced that it had fallen in England, to Great Britain. Some newscaster was announcing that uh, we have just gotten the news that the Salomon Brothers building, uh, World Trade Center 7, has fallen. And over her shoulder in the background was live image from World Trade Center, and it's still standing there. So she announced ahead of time that it was falling. How would she know 20 minutes ahead of time that that building went down? Yeah, it's was amazing about down. that third building because I didn't know about the third building until like almost a year until after the towers fell and I started investigating. So, Teresa, um, do you feel like there's a larger, more sinister plan going on in the U.S.? It's actually global. It's, it's not a U.S. thing. It's global. Um, the United States has been under attack since probably, I would say since they launched the creature at Jekyll Island for sure. Um, the Rothschilds and, and all of them, they wanted to get a hold of our banking system so that they could make our laws, but that happened. But uh, it really took a big step forward after 9-11 because they were a, a, able to pass uh, the Patriot Act. And the Patriot Act really broad example of a law passed that smashed our civil liberties to the core. The biggest thing was the wiretapping. The wiretapping is allowed. They don't have to have any sort of regulation. They don't have to have a warrant. It is warrantless wiretapping. Um, they can track and trace you without anything. They uh, don't have to give you any sort of warning. They don't have to tell the judge they want a search warrant or anything. They just kind of go get one. So, um, Teresa, do you feel like um, the Patriot Act was actually the end? Since you do believe that 911 was an inside job, do you believe that the Patriot Act was 
what they were trying to establish because I personally remember when the towers fell all over our country, everybody had flags. So the evidence that I saw was that this action actually and the and the and the narrative that came about after the towers fell was all about repatriotizing or repatriotism or whatever that word is, the people uh, getting them back patriotic. And so there were flags everywhere. Uh, there were, uh, and you know that they they named that act the way they did simply to make it look like if we go along with this, we're good patriots and, oh, and that all makes about sense. saving I never the country. thought about that. I never thought oh, about that. Oh, absolutely. It is absolutely. Do you know what the Patriot Act name actually stands for? The uh, official title is Uniting and Strengthening America by Providing Appropriate Tools Required to Intercept and Obstruct Terrorism, USA Patriot. So this is lovingly known as the Patriot Act. It was planned. Um, there are several studies, and there was a book literally showed the Twin Towers in a crosshairs of a, a missile or an airplane gun. You know how you see those crosshair things? Mm -hmm. um, target. And inside a target, yeah. And inside this book, it said that they would not be able to get the things that they wanted to to do accomplished without a national incident unifying a unifying incident like Pearl Harbor I kid you not and what has everybody compared 9-11 to in the last 20 years Pearl Harbor mm -hmm. everybody said this this was the new Pearl Harbor and then all you heard on TV was terrorism, 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 terrorist, terrorist, terrorism, 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 a hundred times a day. Okay, and it was so amazing to me that they knew who did it, how they did it, and, and you know what the consequences were going to be less than 24 hours after the buildings went down. That yeah. was that was just astonishing. It never occurred to me at the time, but when you look back at it, it's like, really? They, they knew Osama bin Laden did this immediately? Where, where'd they get that information? Did you see it? that meme where, um, I think it was David Rockefeller, he said that, uh, what it would take would be a national tragedy for the country to accept the new world order. You remember seeing yes, that? Absolutely. Yeah, that falls That's what this think tank about. I was talking about was all about. And I want to say it was the try, try something, trilateral commission. It was the trilateral commission that okay, uh, so, came up with that. Okay. So Teresa, I just want to bag up a little bit and, uh, and find out what you know about, Eric Snowden, because Eric Snowden is, was a whistleblower, is a whistleblower who is now in exile in Russia. Now, when you mentioned the Patriot Act, that brought to mind the spying on of America. It was Eric Snowden who revealed to us that major corporations were allowing uh, certain agencies to spy on Americans. And so yeah, they were going to kill him unless he got out of here. Do you, you know anything about that? I, I don't, actually. I do know the name, and I know that he he was a whistleblower and that he had to leave. But uh, other than that, I haven't studied that. Yeah, that's particular. what he revealed. He revealed that America was spying on all Americans, and they was even... Uh, the wireless wiretapping. Is, is, is that what it is? That's that part that of about? it. That's part of it, yes. <laughs> okay. All right, Teresa, so...